Hello everyone, it is a new half term and a new time in the church's year um, and this is Weekly Witness. So let's begin with the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So over half term we entered what's called a new time in the church's year. The day after Pancake Day, Ash Wednesday, we swapped from the green of ordinary time um, green being the colour of growth, because in ordinary time, that's sort of what the church does. It grows and tells more people about Jesus. And we swap from that into purple. Purple being a colour of repentance and preparation. Repentance basically is a fancy word for saying um, sorry for the things uh, that you've done wrong and thinking about how you can be a better person and do better things going forward. Now, the reason we swap from the green into the purple is because we have entered a season called Lent, which is a period of time, 40 days and 40 nights, um, which helps us prepare for Easter. You might also recognise the purple from Advent, which is the four weeks before Christmas, uh, which help us prepare for Jesus' birth. Lent lasts 40 days and 40 nights, and the reason for that is because it's the same length of time Jesus went into the desert for uh, before he started what's called his public ministry. Now um, that's basically fancy words for all of the cool stories that we hear about him in the Bible. That's what his public ministry was. And just like Jesus had that time to prepare for his ministry, we have that time to prepare for when Jesus resurrects from the dead on Easter day. So that when we experience the full power of his love, we can be as ready as possible to welcome it into our lives. And so we're going to start today by hearing the story of Jesus in the desert. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Not long afterwards, Jesus came from Nazareth in the province of Galilee and was baptised by John in the Jordan. As soon as Jesus came up out of the water, he saw heaven opening and the Spirit coming down on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my own dear son. I am pleased with you. At once, the spirits made him go into the desert, where he stayed for 40 days, being tempted by Satan. Wild animals were there also, but angels came and helped him. After John had been put in prison, Jesus went to Galilee and preached the good news from God. The right time has come, he said, and the kingdom of God is near. Turn away from your sins and believe the good news, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So now that we've heard how Jesus prepared in his 40 days and 40 nights, we're going to think about how we prepare in our 40 days and 40 nights. And there, as Christians, there are three main ways as to how we prepare. The first is something called almsgiving, which is basically a fancy, fancy word uh, for giving to charity or doing something for charity, which we're going to talk about in a few minutes time. Um, or just doing nice things for people, you know, um, doing acts of service and being a kind person to be more like Jesus. Now, as a group of schools and parishes, so St. Edward's, Holy Rosary, Blessed Robert Sutton, Saints Peter and Paul and St. Joseph the Workers, we are going to be taking part in CAFOD's Walk for Water campaign. The aim of the challenge is to try and walk 10,000 steps every single day through Lent. Now, don't worry, I know this is going to be quite challenging, particularly for some of you, our younger children. Um, so my challenge for you is to just try and do as many steps as you can. And to using the link below, sign up um, to the water, Walk for Water campaign and join our Living Light Chaplaincy team. That's going to be full of people from across all of our schools and parishes. Um, and it's going to help us log how many steps we're doing as a total group, um, but also how much money we are raising. Because when you are doing these steps, I'm going to ask you to ask people to sponsor you. Whether it's a penny, a pound, no matter how much money it is, big or small, um, it will all make really invaluable differences uh, to people's lives all the way around the world. But we'll hear a bit more. About, but we'll hear a bit more about that in a few weeks' time when our theme of the week is almsgiving. The second way we can prepare for Easter through Lent is by something called fasting, which again is another fancy word for something that's pretty simple. You might have heard family members or people you know say um, that they're going to be giving something up for Lent. It might be something sweet or something they like doing, like giving up, um, up chocolate or um, sweets, or um, they might have given up watching their favourite TV show that they watch all the time, something like that. Um, I personally have gone vegan, uh, which has been quite the challenge, if I'm honest. Um, but um, people do this to, uh, because it's what Jesus did in the desert, uh, but also because when we give things up, it leaves a space in our lives. Um, 
and that allows space for Jesus to enter and um, so we can become closer with Jesus um, through leaving him that space. Our third and final way of how people prepare for Easter in Lent is prayer and funnily enough that is this week's word of the week. If you haven't already, I encourage you to uh, check out the prayer and well-being uh, video I made a few week, weeks ago for Children's Mental Health Week, because um, that includes loads of different ways that you can pray. Um, because of course, when we pray, we become closer to Jesus, and that's this. And this is our third way which we become closer to Jesus during Lent. As well as this, on the picture of the Class Dojo post. Um, for this weekly witness. Um, there is a one minute um, daily prayer resource um, which you could maybe do every day through Lent. It's super easy, it literally takes a minute. It's a really nice way to reflect on your day um, and draw closer to Jesus every single day. But for now, we're actually gonna enter into a time of prayer ourselves. So I'm gonna invite you to take a deep breath and think about how Jesus is all around you in the room and in your heart. And as through Lent, we are thinking about how we can be closer to Jesus. I'm going to ask you to think about where Jesus is in your life already. Now, this might sound a little bit challenging, but the way I like to do that is thinking about where do I see love in my life? Because when Jesus was asked who God was in the Bible, he said that God was love. So where do you see love? Is it in your pet? Is it a family member or a friend? Wherever you see that love, where do you see Jesus today? And now I'd like you to think about who you know who needs Jesus at the moment. Maybe it's a family member or a friend, uh, whoever it is, say a little prayer for them now and pray that Jesus can be with them, not just this week, but throughout this Lent. And now we join all of our prayers together and um, saying the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So, as our theme of the week is prayer, your mission for this week is to try out a new way of praying. Now, it might be one of the five ways in that video, as I said, is in the link to, uh, the link to it is in the description below. Or it might be a new way which you have created yourself. But whatever that is, please take a picture of it and send it to me on wcritis at srs dot srscmats.co.uk it's at the bottom there and then they can be featured on our weekly showcase but also our diocesan show which spoiler alert i'm going to be on this week so it'd be absolutely amazing to show off some of the amazing work which is coming from our primary schools um on that show the week four half term some of the year six class from st edward's sent in their work and look how amazing it was and it was great to be able to share that uh, with our communities and of course you can see all the stuff we're sharing with our communities on our social media platform uh, for adults um, in your house and um, at living light underscore srs so please follow that to keep up to date with the daily challenges we're posting up there and also all the stuff that's going on across all three of our communities but guys that is it from me today uh, so i hope you have an amazing first week back and we'll end our liturgy today with the sign of the cross in the name of the father and of the son of the holy spirit amen see you later